Hey guys, we are Sean and Christy. This is Long Long Honeymoon, and today we're coming to you from one of our favorite RV camping destinations in all of North America, our friend's driveway. <laughs> That's right, we are camping in the driveway of our dear friends Mike and Angela of 30a.com. You might recall that earlier this year we toured Southeast Asia, specifically Thailand and Myanmar with Mike and Angela. We've known these guys for many decades. Hello blog from a driveway. We're driveway camping. I think just about everyone who's ever owned an RV has at some point camped in a driveway. So in this video, we're going to give you a few simple tips to ensure that you're gonna have a good time when you take your RV to visit with friends and family around the country. To get started, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is talk to your friends and family before you even plan on visiting them. Make sure they don't have any HOAs or town ordinances that would keep you from parking in their driveway. That would be a total bummer if you arrive and then you get a letter from somebody telling you you gotta move. And step number two is to have them measure the area that they're gonna want you to park in and make sure that you're actually gonna fit. Sometimes a lot of people will sort of try to eyeball it and say, oh sure you'll fit, it'll be no problem. And then you get there and things aren't really what they seem. So they need to not only measure the length of the space, but the width and the height as well, just to make sure that your RV will fit where they want you to go. Ideally, you wanna do a little bit of prep work to your RV. First of all, empty your waste tanks. You wanna come in with empty gray water and black water tanks, if at all possible. And by the way, you can often find free RV dump stations at state rest areas. would also want to make sure that you're full on propane. I'm not saying we are, but you should do that. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of people show up to a friend's house with empty propane tanks? This kind of person right here. I was the one that wanted to stop for propane. No, you, you didn't. You said <laughs> no, no. I didn't. I said yes. I always say stop for propane. Your nose is going. Do as we say, not as we actually do. And most people are gonna have a freshwater spigot outside their house that you can you know, get some fresh water from, but just make sure that it's not on the opposite side of the house or something where getting a water hose to your RV would be next to impossible. So just check on things like that to make sure that it's easy to get once you get there. There's one critical gadget that you have to have if you're wanting to plug up to electricity at your friend's house, and that is a 30 amp to 15 amp adapter. So with this little adapter, you plug your RV cord into one end and the other end can go into an ordinary household electricity outlet. And that way you'll be getting electricity into your RV. If you have not modified your RV air conditioner with a soft starting device, then it's possible you could trip a circuit breaker. Mm -hmm. We actually have a saw starting in our RV, so we, we don't have that concern. But if you're going to run air conditioning, you're going to want to shut down everything else in your RV from a power standpoint. Mm -hmm. Because an RV air conditioner will consume around 1800 watts when it's running, but to start, it's going to consume around 2800 watts for a few seconds and that can be enough to trip certain circuit breakers in some household. You too. Where else? Exactly. So another tip we have for you is to establish some rules with your friends or family once you get there. You want to make sure that you know which door to go in and out of if you're coming in another house. You want to make sure you know what times are good for them, like what time is too early, what time is too late. It's a little different than being a guest inside the house. So talk about that with your friends and just set up some boundaries there. If you're gonna be using an indoor restroom of theirs, toilet, shower, whatever, check with them to make sure you know you're using the correct one. We usually bring our own towels and that sort of thing just so we're not you know, using theirs for the most part. And if you've made any great purchases of camping gadgets, this is a perfect time to bring them along and have fun with your friends testing out your new gear. For example, we brought our Traeger Ranger portable smoker grill with us <laughs> on this trip and we've had a good time cooking hamburgers and most ambitious of all, a pork shoulder. 
This is crazy, guys. I have never cooked a piece of meat this large. The old saying about breakfast in the South. The chicken gave good effort, but the pig was truly committed. The pig was committed. So I think we need to honor the pig by doing a good job. It's done. What do you think? Uh -huh. You can kind of blend the camping experience with the experience of visiting with friends and family. And you don't really feel like you're intruding on your friend's space. Yeah, it's one of those things where you're a guest at your friend or family's home, but you're not intrusive because you've got your own space to retreat to that's totally separate from their house. You know, it's sort of that old saying of fish and house guests stink after three days. <laughs> So it's kind of a way that you can stay longer and not wear out your welcome because you're not in each other's space all the time. Yeah, I think RV house guests probably don't stink until day five or six. Yeah, or so we've been told. <laughs> and in these times when we've been dealing with a lot of national park closings and RV campground closings, mm -hmm. you always know that your friend's driveway is probably open. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're a new RV owner, it's a great way to get some experience traveling with your RV, setting it up. In fact, one of the first nights we ever spent with our Airstream was camping in our friend's driveway mm -hmm. here in Florida. You'll have some great experiences with your RV just getting out and visiting friends and family. Sorry guys, as always, thank you for tuning in. If you're new to our channel, if you're a new RV owner, be sure to subscribe to our channel because subscriptions will make sure that you never miss a video. And if you're really ambitious, click that little bell next to the subscription button. That will ensure you get a notification when we post a new video. Here on Long Long Honeymoon, we do have a favorite expression that we send out to Loloho Nation. It's meant to be unifying. Yes. To bring us all together. It means you're part of our crew. That's right. To you, we give a hearty Loloho. Lo -lo Hang loose. Hang in there. Be good. Good grief. I know they're everywhere. There are all these little gnats that are just like crawling all over my face. And it's like 20 minutes ago, they weren't here. They know we're filming. That's yeah. what it is. They're like trying to sabotage. Who let the flies out? <laughs>